Hello everybody and welcome back to the ROR SRPS channel. My name is Preston Vieira and we are here for the first time at the Dell Diamond Baseball Field in Round Rock, Texas with the Indy Madness Tour. We have a lot in store for you tonight starting with as always our W Racing Competition DD Live in the DD Fandom Protector. On your right right now we'll see how he does as he takes on Chucky Pockin in Excalibur. Subs have to win either racing or freestyle in order to earn themselves a second show and a chance to get some more points and potentially qualify for the World Finals. We're off that starting line now and uh, they are pretty close. It's neck and neck right now. DD manages to uh, take the lead through that first turn. Is Chucky going to come back? It does not look like it. DD live in the DD Phantom Protector. Manages to knock out Chucky Pockin in Excalibur. Uh, was unable to get a World Finals qualification, so she needs it. She wants it desperately this season. We'll see how she does here as we are already into our first turn for this race. Big slide from Dawson Rye is not looking good so far, but Kaylin Mowry's a little all over the place. It's pretty close through the final turn, but it is going to be Kaylin Mowry sticking it out to the end. She is moving on to round two. Both CRCs are up into round two. We'll see who comes out on top in this race. Uh, the the uh, team Sudden Impact, excuse me, Sudden Impact Racing Team uh, trucks not looking so good, maybe. Uh, off the line, though, we are heading into our first turn. Amsoil Shock Therapy super tight, a little sloppy, though. Had to check up on the brakes there, let off the gas a little bit, which slowed him down. Matthew Hood catching up a little bit. It is close as we get to the line, but it is going to be Cole Pekka in Amsoil Shock Therapy, making another move towards that uh, final round, that W final round. Let's see what's up. As we get to the line, Boat Truck stays ready to go. We are going green and over the line for the first time in this race. Got to make it back to find our champion here in this race. Over that jump and headed right into that final turn. It is close. Both of these drivers doing well on this track. By inches, though, it is going to be Ed Eckert in full bore. Jimmy Creighton staged. George staged. We're ready to go. And we're going green. Over the first jump and headed into our turn. Bounty Hunter Jimmy Creighton absolutely tossing that truck into the turn. And it works out great for him. He is in the lead right now. A lot of rebound from George 20D10 and a big slide through the final turn. It's closer than I thought it was going to be. But it is Jimmy Creighton and Bounty Hunter taking that truck to the line. And uh, he is on to round two. So we'll see how she does moving throughout the season. DD Phantom Protector just starting out his season. We'll see how he does taking on the uh, veteran here on the channel. Kaylin Mowry looking good through that first turn. DD cutting it a little shallow there on the end. But it manages to keep him uh, in contention for the lead here. Around the turn it is DD with a better turn. And DD live to DD Phantom Protector. Launching off the starting line, we're going to find out here in just a second. Headed into our first turn. Great turn from both trucks, both drivers really putting the foot to the metal here. Around this final turn, it is close. A big slide from Amsoil Shock Therapy, though. It is Ed Eckert in full bore who knocks out Cole Pekka tonight. And uh, we are getting closer and closer to that W final round. Who will come out on top here in the semifinals and potentially... Get into that next round. We're going to go green here and launch off of that starting line. Headed into our first turn. It is a close race so far. Giovanna Hayes giving it everything she's got. She slides a little bit in that first turn. Into the final turn here. Big turn from both trucks, but it is going to be DD live. Knocking out Giovanna Hayes in Megalodon. Oh, my goodness. Our second sub of the season is now into our W final round. DD Live and the DD Phantom Protector has a shot at that W championship tonight. Can he get it? We'll find out his opponent here in just a second with Ed Eckert taking on Jack Merkel. Full bore on your left, taking on Vorian Prime on your right. Both of these trucks, solid passes so far tonight. Vorian Prime has been super consistent though. Been on fire. We'll see how he does here. In the semifinals. Can he? I mean, something of note here. I uh, got to mention this. He is in the opposite lane that he's been in all night. Full bore as well, I believe. I think they both switched lanes. So who is going to come out on top? It's about back to even. So 
who is gonna make it into that W final round? Who will take on the DD Phantom Protector? It is a close race so far, headed into this final turn of... Wow. <laughs> Sorry, stumbling over my words there. It is gonna be Ed Eckert in full bore. Moving on to the W final round. You do not want to uh, to pass them, guys. Don't pass them up. They're delicious and they got some good energy. We're gonna launch off of that starting line now and head into our first turn for the W final round. Who will come out on top over the cars? It is Didi with the lead right now. Can he hold it? Big wide turn on the entry from DD Live, but it helps him out. Headed over the line, it is DD Live in the DD Phantom Protector. The substitute grabs the W Racing Championship and he grabs himself a second show. He will be back next time on the Indie Madness Tour for both racing and freestyle. DD Live does it here in Round Rock, Texas. This is history. He is the earliest sub to grab himself a second show. We have never had the first sub grab a win in Megalodon Fire. Colt Durham coming out first, absolutely launching it already. First 30 seconds, so he will be getting a score for freestyle. I just hope he's not stuck on one move like we saw in Cameron, Texas. Cole Durham, look at the slap, or the sky wheelie, excuse me, getting tripped up here. But man, just to set it down from Colt Durham, the owner and operator of the ROR SCS channel. Be sure to head over on YouTube or on Instagram and check out ROR SCS. They got a 2016 replica season running right now. Signups are closed, but you can follow along on, like I said, either their Instagram or their YouTube channel, ROR SCS. But back to SRPS, nice slap wheelie off of the jammer there. Looking for his next hit. He's having a solid run so far tonight, big hits. Look at the cross thread, nicely done. Gonna get into a little bit of trouble there. Just about 30 seconds left. Looks like we're gonna get our first backflip of the night and it is absolutely huge. Wow, what a hit from Colt Durham. Look at another cross thread, this is gonna hurt. Oh, hard little corner slap there. Uses that wagon to pop him up onto the nose. Very nice, nice little combo. Definitely uh, not the easiest after taking a hard hit like the that cross thread gave him. Massive sky wheelie. Wow. Colt Durham absolutely airing that truck out on the Jackrabbit and that is gonna do it for his freestyle run. That's gonna give him a 32.1. Looks like he's gonna get us started with that center hill. Two minutes on the clock, a big leap down this Dell Diamond here in Round Rock, Texas. I kinda wanna call them fountain jumps because they definitely remind me of uh, early 2000s world finals but how is he gonna turn it up he needs to knock out a 32.1 from playing crazy colt durham nice big slap wheelie dragging that wheelie looks like he's gonna take on the backside of that massive uh tanker jump there slowing it down before the edge of the track you don't want to end up shut off and into the wall even oh my goodness look at the sky wheelie from matthew hood beautifully done expert skill Walking up and over. Final 10 seconds, gonna go cross thread over the massive three set there. That finishing racing jump, absolutely launching rage here tonight. Another little cross thread here. And uh, he absolutely threw down a solid run up on the nose and sets it down, beautifully done. A 30.3, not enough in Cameron, Texas. Looks like he's gonna do it again here tonight. Absolutely massive hit. And manages to pull it down off of that ragged edge as well. Back onto all four BKT tires. Look at the slap wheelie from Bobby Holman. That is how he opened the show in Cameron, Texas with a classic slap wheelie. And it works for him here as well. Look at the air off of the racing lane. A little low on uh, some interesting hits here. But it is still an awesome track. And Bobby Holman is using every bit of it to his advantage here. Look at the sloppy bringing it back. Right back over it up onto the tailgate, but kind of brings it back down. Doesn't quite get onto the tailgate, but almost there. Could have gotten into some trouble, but manages to keep it safe. Keeping this run going. Nice sky wheelie over one of the fountains down at the bottom of the track. Looking for his next big hit. Looks like he's going right up the center. Massive sky wheelie from Bobby Holman. And a pogo right off of the chassis there. 30 seconds left on the clock, just about. It looks like we got our, our next backflip, another 30 second backflip here. Ooh, stuffs it right into the dumpster. 
manages to pull off a backflip afterwards. But, I mean, that definitely sucked a little bit of momentum out of the run. And uh, you got to reset after a hit like that. Nice. Oh, over he goes. Is he going to get a save? He absolutely is. Oh, my goodness. And look at the slap wheelie. Oh, Bobby Holman in Shadow the Hedgehog turning it up here in Round Rock. That's only going to get him a 30.95, so he does grab second place. Does not want the same thing to happen here tonight. Uh, went down in, you know, he lasted 30 seconds. I'll give him that. He got a score coming around. Looking to fill these first 30 seconds. We're getting close. 10 seconds left. Nice combo there. Big Sky Wheelie over the fountain jump for a freestyle run from Cameron, Texas. See if he can keep this thing running the entire time. Big Sky Wheelie looks like he's going to fill a lot of the time. Nice big Sky Wheelie over the Jackrabbit. Oh, one wheel and sets it back down. Beautifully done. Jimmy Creighton, a one-time freestyle champion in the Monster Jam World Finals. Big Sky Wheelie over that center hill and follows it right up with a slap wheelie. Beautifully done. 30 seconds left on the clock. Jimmy Creighton is going to throw it into some donuts here. Literally right nearly on top of home base here. Nicely done. Uh-oh. Oh, sets it back down. Gets into a little bit of trouble with the donuts. 15 seconds left on the clock. Going for a little slap wheelie. Unable to pop it up, but he sets it down anyways. Nicely done. And Jimmy's going to go for a backflip here. Nicely done. Absolutely huge. And follows it up with a wheelie on the back end of it. That's only going to get him a 30.7. Look at the skills combo from Jimmy Creighton right now. He is just hyped to have filled the clock here in Round Rock, Texas, and a beautiful save championship. Here in Round Rock, getting into a little bit of trouble, goes nose down, but manages to use it for a slap wheelie. Really beautiful save from Corey Fisher in Blacksmith. He's getting in trouble. One wheel pulls it back down, and they are going to stop the clock here. His next big hit clock restarts. And he's going to go big. Nicely done. A little slap wheelie combo once again. A lot of trucks loving that combo. Look at this from Corey Fisher. Pops it up onto the nose and walks it right back up into the fountain. Beautifully done. Again, guys, I know that is not a real fountain. There's no water. But uh, I'm not really sure what else to call those fountain-type jumps. Beautifully done. Getting into trouble here, though. Can he get a save off the nose? No. Down he goes. Oh my goodness, way too early here in Round Rock, Texas. That's only going to get him a 14.5 in Chillin' Villain. Two minutes on the clock. Nicely done to get us started. Backside of that center hill. Or put the power down and bring the front tires up any higher, but gets it done. Nicely done there. Absolutely massive leap off of the racing lane. Keeping things running here. Looks like we got ourselves another backflip. Going for it. Oh no! Under rotation, hard hit right on the nose. And that is going to put him down early. Two runs in a row going out early. And the 18.65 It's going to follow that up with the racing lane. Nice big air under those BKTs. Jim Kohler, look at this. Beautiful combo. He's going to take on the center hill here. Nicely done. And another slap wheelie. Jim Kohler rocking the slap wheelies tonight. That could potentially put him up into the lead. Definitely needs to go hard in these final 30 seconds. Uh-oh. Reverse hit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a move. Wants a backflip attempt. Is he going to get it in? He does. Just in time. Barely makes it. And that is going to grab the lead. A 33.4 for Jim Kohler in Megabyte. But someone else who could earn himself a lead is Chucky Pockin in Excalibur. Two minutes on the clock. He's going to go sky wheelie over the Jackrabbit to get us started. Beautifully done. Definitely end up high on the leaderboard. Looks like he's going to go up and over that racing hit. Nicely done with some massive air adjusted to give these drivers even more air than we would expect. And uh, oh my goodness. Look at the skills from Chucky Pockin. First 30 seconds are done. We'll be getting a score. For Chucky, oh my goodness, man. What is in the water here in Round Rock, Texas? Chucky Pockin throwing down with the skills moves over the racing lane. Massive air over that center hill as well. And I told you, if anybody's going to grab a lead, it's, it's highly likely it's Chucky Pockin 
in that Excalibur truck. Standing it on the ramp. No! Oh, man. Down he goes with just about 50 seconds left on the clock. That is unfortunate. It's only going to be a 16.2. Looking for his first hit of the night. Looks like he's going right up the center. Two minutes on the clock. Beautiful sky wheelie kicking off the second half with a bang. Down he goes. Can he get a save? Oh, my goodness. Not only do we have a short run, but he's going to get a zero. But someone who could turn it up here, DD Live in the DD Phantom Protector with his first freestyle run of the season. What has he got for the fans here in Round Rock, Texas? Looking for his next hit. Solid first hit. Beautiful sky wheelie. Another one there. Up and over the backside of that racing lane. This is your Dubby Racing Champion here in Round Rock, Texas. He is turning it up tonight. He has made history and he has earned himself a second show. He does not need a racing championship, but who doesn't want the Dubby Double Down Trophy? He's trying for it. Can he get it? He's the only one in the running to do it here in Round Rock tonight. Beautiful save off the nose. Manages to keep that truck on all four BKTs and out of trouble. Oh my goodness, huge sky wheelie cross thread over that finishing racing jump. What else do you got for the fans here? We are down to the halfway point of this freestyle run. Beautiful slap wheelie combo with that fountain jump. I mean, what else could you expect? Everyone's been doing that all night long, but DD Fandom definitely, or excuse me, DD Live definitely killed it in the protector here tonight. Getting crooked on the landing, gets it up on the sidewalls. Is he going to get a save? Absolutely he is. 40 seconds left on the clock. He's going to turn it up for the fans here in Texas tonight. What else does he have in store for him? Final 30 seconds of this run are here, and he needs to turn it up a notch if he wants to take the lead. Not really the best slap wheelie we've seen tonight. Definitely tried for it, but it didn't work out. A little cross thread across the track. He's going to combo it up with the fountain. Huge sky wheelie. Oh my goodness. Five seconds left. What has he got? He's going to throw in a backflip. I don't know. I think that counts. I think that's in. Oh my goodness. Our first consecutive of the season, and it was absolutely stunning. 35.45. He does grab the lead. Didi in the running for the first W double down of the season. In Cameron, Texas, he wants to do it again tonight and with a massive sky wheelie. He has a shot. Can he keep it on all four tires? Massive air up and over that center hill. Oh, my goodness. And a slap wheelie on the back end of it as well. Dawson knows how to get this truck to do what it wants as long as he's in freestyle. <laughs> if he's in freestyle, he can rock it. So far in racing, he hasn't been doing what he wants to. First 30 seconds are done. He's got Depends on how much time he fills and the rest of this run. Another slap wheelie from Dawson. Over the opposite fountain now. Going to head up and over the Jackrabbit with some more massive air. Celebrating five years of competition with the Shake Me name. He is burning it down. Not only for himself, not only for that Shake Me name, but for all of the T-Ray team. In the back, watching this thing go down. 30 seconds left with a beautiful nose wheelie. He throws it into a moonwalk, and he is absolutely killing it right now. Is he going to be able to is another question. That is a massive score and a massive backflip for Dawson Reyes. Might help him get it. Now, that wasn't a consecutive, though, but he's going to get some massive air. Oh, my goodness. Five seconds left, and he absolutely tosses that truck. Somehow is still running and manages to get it back on all fours. And that's going to be a 35, but not enough to take the lead. It's a 35.25. He said he has some special plan, and here it is. Two minutes on the clock. He's going for a backflip to get us started. Oh, my goodness. That is a risky move. Heading up and over that center hill. Looks like he's going for a stoppy here. Absolutely, he is beautifully done. He's going to take it right back up it. Nicely done. Is he going to turn it up anymore? And is he going to turn it up enough to grab the lead? Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Over he goes. 
And they are going to shut him off there as he rolls into the side here. Looking for that jammer. Huge sky wheelie there. Crushes those cars a little bit that I was talking about earlier. We're going to follow that up with a crooked hit on the Jackrabbit. Is he going to get a save? What was that? Jack Merkel and Vorian Prime showing why it is key to be driving your own equipment here. He is throwing it down. He's going to get a save. No. Down he goes. And that is going to be a 34.4. Not enough under those tires for the Amsoil Shock Therapy truck. Cole Pekka drove that thing to an overall championship last time. Now he went out um, in what? Round two of racing tonight. So that is only four points. I don't think he's going to get an overall. Potentially second place. He might be able to get it. Uh, we just got to see what what's happening. I don't think he's going to be able to, actually, because DD Live still holding on to the lead. But look at Cole Pekka right now with the moonwalk all the way back from essentially home plate. Oh, my goodness. Gets the save off of the sidewalls in reverse. What a move. If he can fill the clock, man, this is a, this is a, uh, a competitor for the lead here. Looking for that racing lane hit. Nicely done. Up and over it. He's going to combo it up with the Jackrabbit. Nicely done. Solid hit. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, my goodness. Something is in the water here in Round Rock, Texas, man. Cole Pekka, what a save in the Amsoil Shock Therapy truck. And what a combo. Oh, my goodness. Another one. Nail it. Oh, no. Cole Pekka goes down with 13 seconds left. What a run for Cole Pekka and Amsoil Shock Therapy. That's going to be a 27.95 of a freestyle win in Cameron. He wants it tonight. He's going to go big. Look at the sky wheelie down the track off of that center hit. And he's going to go right back for the center hill. Massive sky wheelie on the backside of it. Absolutely launching that truck. It looks like he's going to take on the backside of the racing lane. Huge hit. He's going to cross-thread it onto the Jackrabbit. Oh, my goodness. Dubby Freestyle Championship. Is he going to get it? 30 seconds on the clock as he absolutely mounts. Uh, whoa. Absolutely launches that truck. I don't know what mounts is, but uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at this. Nice save off of the nose. And he's going to go right back for it. 10 seconds left. He's going to absolutely give it his best shot for the backflip. And he pops it up onto the nose. Oh, my goodness. Ed Eckert turning up here in Round Rock, Texas. And that's going to get him only a 34. Well, that's not only. That is not only. That is a massive score, 34.05. But it is not enough to grab the lead. Two minutes on the clock for Giovanna Hayes in Megalodon Fire. She is going huge. Oh, my goodness. What a leap over that center hill. He's going to follow it up with the tanker. Nicely done. Up and over the back side of it. Oh, skills move. Beautifully done. And that's what we want to see. Oh, no. And that's what we don't want to see. Not only is she down early. Not only is it a zero score. Not only is it zero points for her uh, freestyle competition uh, as far as season points are concerned. But she just made history, allowing DD Live and the DD Phantom Protector to take the W Freestyle win with a 35.45. Dawson Reyes is right behind him with a 35.25. Vorian Prime with that 34.4. But it is all DD Live here in Round Rock, Texas, managing to earn himself not only the W Racing Championship, but also the Freestyle Championship which means he is our Dubby Double Down champion and our first one of the season, our first sub to get the Double Down at all. It is a history-making night, not only for the DD Phantom Protector, but for RORSRPS and all the fans here in Round Rock, Texas. And we also have two trucks that ended up with zeros in freestyle. It is Full Bore who has the lead, but look at this. Our sub is in second place with 41. 